6,000 years ago, a fierce warrior known as the Scorpion King led a great army on a campaign to unite the known world. Though they fought well, the Scorpion King and his army were defeated by the Sumerians and driven deep into Amshir, the sacred desert. On death's door, the Scorpion King made a pact with the desert god Anubis. If Anubis would let him live to conquer his enemies, he would surrender to Anubis, his immortal soul. The next year, the Scorpion King stormed northward with the army of Anubis. No power on earth could stop the supernatural warriors, and the Sumerians were crushed before them. But the Scorpion King's moment of victory was also his last. As the army of Anubis was returned once again to oblivion, the soul of the Scorpion King was banished to the underworld. Ages have passed from that year to this, the year of the Scorpion. In this one year of the millennia, the army of Anubis can return to ravage the earth like a lethal plague if the evil sorcerer Imhotep has his way. Having uncovered the corpse of the mummy in the desert sands, a dark order now works to revive the only being mighty enough to overthrow the Scorpion King, claim the army of Anubis, and go on to rule the world in darkness. May the gods help us. The mummy returns. Rise up, rise up, rise up! Thank you, my servants. Your master has awoken. Ah, oh, you carry a heavy curse with you, my lord. The pharaoh and the ancient gods are not pleased. They have many powers that can stand in our way and keep us from our quest. The gods of the Nile must be appeased. We have brought these sacred statues here so that you can try to make atonement to the ancient gods. Four offering stones have been hidden throughout the museum. Return the stones to the statues. If your offering is accepted, the gods will bless and make a gift to you in return. Ah, <sighs> your magic is growing stronger with every passing moment, Lord Imhotep. But the strength of your powers drains your own life force, my lord. The curator tells me there must be at least three canopic jars within this very museum. I fear you will not be able to survive long without retrieving them. The jars will help you increase in health, which will allow you to expand your growing powers and cast more powerful spells. But better yet, some of the jars have been known to contain spells. You cannot regenerate your mortal body without the souls of the living, my lord. If you suck the souls of the living, you will be able to enhance your powers and your strength. Here, yeah. try a guard or two. I'm sure they're delicious. You can suck the life force from human beings to restore your own strength and power. If you beat a human into submission, they will become stunned and powerless. Only then will you be able to steal their life force. Let me show you the ancient spell.
Yeah. 
Thousand years ago, a fierce warrior known as the Scorpion. Though thousands of years have passed since then, history has a way of repeating itself. According to the calendar of the ancients, the year. It's so dark in here, Rick, and yet it's all so familiar. Uh, tell me, Sweet Pea, if this ancient temple has been sealed off from the world for a thousand years or so, why is there a burning torch right over there? Take your pick, darling. Could be grave robbers, treasure seekers, or just the eternal flame of the damned. Now you're talking! I pick grave robbers. Can we go now? I can hardly make out a single hieroglyph. And yet, something tells me I've seen this all before, as if in a dream. What, sand, scarabs, scorpions? Darling, throw in an evil mummy or two, and you're basically describing our honeymoon. Scorpions? Where? Be careful, Alex. Oh, Mom, I'm always careful. Whoa! Alex, you all right? I think so, but I fell down some kind of 
a steep chute and I can't get back up it. Sorry I broke the temple, Mum. Oh, Alex, can you tell me where you are? Can you see anything? Uh, not much. I'm in a huge room filled with giant statues, but I can't see much else. It's really dark in here. Don't worry, Alex. We'll be right there. We've got to find another way down there. Come on, let's go. The Scorpion King. Whew, I hate to think what's in there. Mom, Dad, I'm in here. Is that you? You've got to get me out of here. Alex, hang on. We'll hurry. It won't budge. All right, let's try it your way. Can you read the instructions on this thing? There's something here about four keys. No, no, not keys exactly. Four immense rubies that act like keys. We've got to place them into this cartouche, and the Scorpion King will be appeased and let us enter. There. That doesn't sound so bad, Alex. We'll just go take a look around for those rubies and come directly back for you. All right. Let's do it. Oh! <laughs> 